Hi, I'm Dave, and this is part two, finally, of the video that I posted in April of this year on how to build a first flow diverter. Uh, in this part of the video, we're going to look at how we drill the holes in this pipe. And this pipe is actually the part that goes inside the barrel. We're also going to look at how to put this 90 on here. How to put this on, how to drill the hole in this. We'll be looking at that. And we'll be looking at the final assembly, which involves threading the barrel. Actually, we'll be threading the barrel so that this goes in. And uh, I should also mention that there's two websites and a blog that go along with this stuff here. And it's pretty important to check those out. We'll have the addresses at the end of the video so you can go ahead and find it. But it's, it's really important. I can't put, there's so much information there, so much, that can't go in this video. It's, it's impossible to get it all in there. So it's a good thing to check that out. All right, let's get started. Okay, now we're going to take a look at how to drill these holes. We've got here just a regular brace and bit. This is a spade bit. This is a half inch spade bit. We're going to take it kind of slow. Okay, and the slip cap, same size hole. I uh, would drill two holes in it. Just one, one right in there, and one right in there. Okay, there it is. Okay, now, the hole that we drill for this, right here, is going to be done with a one and seven eighths inch hole saw. And we'll put that in the brace and bit system here. Brace basically is what this is. Well, you, this is essentially the bit, so to speak. But that's the size, one and seven eighths inch. Okay, we're going to look at how to drill the hole for the output. And we're gonna do this, we're not gonna use power tool, we're gonna to do this with it's a real hand drill. Okay, as you can see, it works. Okay, we've got the hole drilled, and I sanded it and smoothed it. Four inch PVC, 11 inches total here, length. This is up six and a half on center right there, six and a half inches. Now this is an inch and a half threaded female adapter. This is an inch and a half threaded male adapter, 90 degrees. Okay, it's going to go on the inside, and it's going to slide through this hole. It's going to be kind of a little bit tight, but it's going to go on the inside like that. And when we do assemble it, when this is assembled on the on the uh, diverter, it's going to go in there like that. But we're going to want you know, we're going to want the open side down, not up, but down, because we want the water to come up through there. We don't want it to come into the top. You'll see about that later. This is going to thread on here like this. Okay, we got the pipe tape on it. This is what you're going to want to see. Okay, this is what it's going to look like when you've got it done. You can see the pipe tape in there. Okay, now before we do anything else, we're going to drill a hole in the top of the barrel. Now, this is a two and a quarter inch hole saw. So we're going to put this right here. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered. And we just start drilling. It'll take some doing. It's got a drill in there. It cuts a pile of I've got it started. Um, as you can see, okay, now we've got the hole drilled. As you can see, it's a little bit smaller than the threads. So we're going to thread this. Now, it's going to take some pressure. We want to make sure it's straight, so we're just going to push on it. And we're going to turn it. It's acting like a tap. There's probably a lot of mechanics that are looking at this and going, oh, what's this guy doing? Well, I've already done it once. And it works. Don't get your fingers caught in there. Okay, now, 
you just push on it, twist it, as you can see, it's making threads in there. Okay, now I've got that tapped in there. It's not all the way in, but I've got the threads so that they're functional. We want this to be tight, and we want this to be tight, and we want it to be airtight. We want this whole thing to be okay, airtight. I used a three-inch hole saw. Here's the pieces here, and that's it. The board just sits down, just like that. That's all there is to it, and then the rest of it goes on top. The hole saw, it's a three inch hole saw. I haven't taken the board out yet, but that's all there is to it. Okay, now when you drill the holes for your reset faucet and your clean out drain faucet, these are half inch pipe threads. You drill those holes, you'll want to use a three quarter inch spade bit. It makes a hole that's just the right size for these threads. This is the half inch fitting threaded adapter that'll go on the top. That's where your vent's going to fit in. And you'll just set it at 90 on there and just start turning and pushing gently, just like we did on the big one. And it'll make its own threads. Okay, I've got the O ring on there. It's a number 16 O ring. And since I've got this threaded already, it's going to go in real easy, but I want to make sure I don't start it crooked. There we go. So we'll just tighten that up. Okay, now we're going to look at the final assembly. And first, we're going to look at the float valve assembly. So we have a ping pong ball. We have a slip cap, half inch slip cap goes on this pipe. We have this adapter here, which is an inch and a half adapter. We have an inch and a quarter pipe. It's beveled on the bottom. This is the adapter. The little groove goes on the top. So we sit like that. This is going to go in here. There's an adapter that makes it fit. This slides in here like this. We want to make sure it's tight. Okay. The ping pong ball goes inside. Slip cap goes on. We make sure it's tight. This is going to go in here like this. But before we do that, we're going to see how this works. We're going to just a little demonstration as to how this actually works when the water comes in here. We got a pond here and we're going to look at what happens when the water comes in. Okay, we're going to gradually submerge this. See how the ping pong ball is floating on the water? It's sealed. We're in the water, but it's not coming through. Okay, now we're going to look at how this is installed. Now, if you remember, I showed you how to thread this. This is already, this is already threaded. We're going to put this in carefully. And we want to make sure we start it straight. And that should, when that starts, it should spin freely. You don't want to cross thread it. There we go, just like that. I'm going to hand tighten it. And make sure it's snug, not overly tight, but just snug. Okay. Now remember, now this is the vent. Okay. This little screen keeps critters out of it. Remember, we tap this the same way we tap this. Now we're going to install the vent. This is the number 16 O-ring. We do this also, we do this carefully. We want to make sure it's straight. It should go in nice and easy, just like that. And we're going to tighten it up. Okay, the vent lets air into the barrel when the water comes in so that the water can flow. If there's no vent, the water doesn't flow. Okay, there we go. It's tight, it's in there. Okay, okay. The next step is to install the brace. We do that now because we have to have this open to get it over there. Just like that. Remember, this was the three inch hole. Here are the boards that go on the side. All right, and then next, we're going to look at the standpipe and the adapter that's going to allow us to hook the standpipe up to the float valve assembly. The standpipe has in it an elbow. The water comes in and flows past this elbow, goes through here, goes through this and into the barrel. It fills up the barrel and raises the ping pong ball up until it gets to that pipe and then it seals it and then the water keeps flowing in here past this opening, flowing in here, fills this up and eventually it's gonna come out here. Okay, this is the adapter that lets us hook it up. It sits just like that. It's gonna sit down like that. Now, before we do that, we need to put in our bottom strainer. It goes right in there. 
just like that. Okay. Next, we need a coupler. This is just a coupler that allows us to hook it up. This is a four inch coupler. Okay. Now the standpipe goes with this up. We don't want this down. We want this part right here to be up. Okay. Next step, we put our adapter on top here. Okay. We're getting close to done. Now, remember there's a little groove inside here. This is the top screen. It sits right in there, just like that. Okay, now put the downspout on. There we go. One more thing. We have our output pipe. That's gonna hook up here. And that's gonna hook up to the storage barrel, which in is also vented, and we are done. This is the standpipe. Water comes down from here, goes into the standpipe, goes down through here. There's a float valve assembly on the bottom. This is the vent. Remember, the vent lets air come out when water goes in. There's two more things I want to look at. This is this is your reset valve, okay, reset faucet. That means it slowly lets the water drip out until it gets down to here. That means you're ready for the next flow of diversion, okay? And then down here, we have what we call a clean-out valve. This lets you drain the thing out, usually done once a year. Gets all the nasty water out of there. These are both half-inch threads. We'll cover that in the, the rest of the video. Okay, there is a detail about the float valve assembly that we should cover. Um, sometimes the PVC that you buy will, the, the parts will not fit together snugly. So, and this is one of those cases. Here's the adapter. This adapter fits in here and it's a little bit loose. So what we want to do is we want to glue it just about like that. Glue it in. And that way, when you put it in here, it's going to tighten up snugly enough so that it won't leak. Okay? You could even glue this part into here if it's too loose. The one thing you don't want to glue is the slip cap because that lets you get the ping pong ball out and open the thing up so that you can at least run water through it and clean it. So again, you, you may have to glue some of that. This one here is one I'm going to have to glue here because this is kind of loose. This is snug so we don't have to glue it. But that's just uh, goes right in there like that. This is snug enough we don't have to glue it but some of the PVC is, is not and you may have to glue that. Okay, I've drained about three gallons out of there and we're going to pour this in at a rate that would be typical of a pretty much a torrential downpour. So it's going to fill up first, fill up the barrel first, and then when the ball seals, it'll come out that pipe. This is probably more than we'd ever see here. There you go.